I made a day trip to Cork earlier and here's everything I ate during the day. So after waking up at 7 on a Saturday morning and a 3 hour train ride from Dublin to Cork, I had to get my coffee the first thing we arrived in the city. I found this place at the corner of the street called Priority Coffee Company. The decoration looked decent so I went in and got my latte. I usually don't have much to talk about a cup of coffee but this one surprised me with the milk that they use. The milk in this latte was so rich and creamy I feel like they put some heavy cream in it. I also got a pan au chocolat in the same coffee shop as a quick breakfast and it was flaky and buttery. I think someone did a pretty good job picking the dairy products for this coffee shop. After having the coffee and the pan au chocolat, we walked around the city and we went to a food market called the English Market. The English Market is in the city center of Cork and it sells both fresh produce and hot food. And I've been living in Germany for a few years. Now, every time I went to market and I see some kind of sausage on the grill, I have to get it. And I found this sausage stand called O'Flynn's Gourmet Sausage Company. I ordered an Italian spicy sausage. The sausage itself was spiced quite heavily with fennel and coriander seed. And they also put grilled onions and peppers and some kind of chili sauce as toppings. I'd say only the sausage itself wasn't the best sausage I've ever had, but everything together as a sandwich, it was pretty good. After the English market, we went to the church called St. Anne's Church. And one thing special about this church is you can pay 5 euros to climb the bell tower of the church. And by that I mean you can climb a few hundred steps of stairs and you can see the interior of this old building. Halfway through you can ring the bells to make some songs. <coughs> and at the end of the climb you can reach the podium of the bell tower and you can see the entire city of Cork. After this mild exercise, we needed food. And after failing to find a table in a few popular restaurants, we finally settled in a Brewdog outlet. And I know what you're thinking, Brewdog is not very local, it's not even Irish. But it was the only restaurant that day that we could find a table and had a good enough vegetarian menu for my vegetarian friends. And it surprised us with some localized item on the menu. This sandwich we ordered is called a Cork Boy sandwich. It has salt beef, cheese and egg in it and it's served with a stout mayo. Not bad. This is a Korean hot chicken loaded rice but I swapped the chicken for some Satan. My friend ordered a bar snack tray and the best thing on it is this spicy cucumber salad which they tossed the cucumber with some sesame sauce and chili oil. But these cauliflower wings here were way too acidic to eat. My other friend also ordered a veggie fried chicken sandwich. And look at the presentation, it's pretty nice. After the meal, we went to this tourist attraction called the Shaky Bridge. I was expecting the bridge to shake like an earthquake, but it was just a mild vibration, I think. I was disappointed. It was almost the end of the day trip and there was one thing and one thing only left to do and was to taste local stout called Murphy's. And it was really good, it's smooth, it's not bitter at all. I can drink this all day every day. And yeah, that's all I have today. If you like this kind of food vlog that I make, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm Justin, see you next time.